What up guys, this is Monkey Figure Reviews and today we are going to unbox the One Piece Manhood Goldie Roger vs Edward Newgate figures by Ben Presto slash Bandai Spirits. Once again, these figures they are provided by the amazing Chronicles Inc. If you've never heard of them, they are a local Singapore shop that sells figures and toys. I've been buying most of my One Piece figures from them for a few years now. They are an excellent shop, they are very reliable, they have a wide selection, and not only do they sell locally, they also ship overseas. So if you're interested to find out more about them or want to buy some figures, go ahead to their website to check them out or visit their social media handles like Facebook and Instagram. Back to these figures and the reason why I didn't get them is because they are very small in size. I think especially Roger, he is tiny. So even though it is a great scene, you know, Roger versus Whitebeard, it is epic. You know, the size is just not my cup of tea. But now that I have them here, I'm also very interested to see how they look like in real life. And maybe my opinion would change after that. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at the box first. Right at the front, we can see Roger and Whitebeard here. Together with some of the design, you can see like the Conqueror's Haki just uh, blowing out from their clash. And we have the Manhood uh, series name over here, character name over there. And of course, there's gold and I guess white in color to match their character names, uh, their themes. Rampresto logo, Bandai Spirits logo. This is the side view. I think it is the same image that you see at the front. This is the other side, possibly uh, different angles. This is the back and we can see how the figures are supposed to look like when paired together to recreate the epic scene. And as usual, we have two versions, version A and version B. The ones that we have here are the versions A, the colored versions. And the versions B, they are just this, like a, like a green model looking color. So I guess you can paint them if you want to or you know, if you just find them to be more beautiful looking like a sculpture, the version B will be better for you. This is the top and here we can see the Jolly Rogers for their respective crew. Uh, the Roger Pirates and the Whitebeard Pirates. And we also have our Golden Toy stickers here to prove their authenticity. The boxes are brand new and sealed, so we are going to do the unboxing together. Let's go! I have taken out the parts of the figure and for Roger, he has three pieces. His main body, the base and the blade of his sword. For Whitebeard, we have four pieces. His main body, the base as well and his weapon coming in two pieces. This is how the figures look like when put together. What do you guys think? Personally, I find it to be a lot more impressive than I thought it would be. The display is very dynamic. Even though we know they are just recreating that scene but I'm sure if you put it onto a shelf, you put it onto your display, it is going to stand out. And it's two legendary epic characters in one piece coming together, clashing. Uh, what else can you ask for? The only complaint that I have is once again the size. I think it's kind of small. And for the price they're paying, some people might think that it is not worth it. I myself think it's kind of, you know... It's kind of up in the air depending but now that I see it in real life I think that it's actually okay if I can get them for a good price. I also have an issue with putting Whitebeard onto the base. I'm not sure if it's the connection at the joints or the, the angling that is the problem but I really took quite a bit of time just to force it in and even now I think the connection on the right leg is not the best. It's not really going in fully so I'm not sure if long term it's gonna be an issue but for now it looks like it can stay there. Let us take a closer look at the figure starting from Roger. And Roger is tiny so I'm just holding him in my hand like this. 
I hope you guys can see the face clearly because from the top down angle it is not so good I think from this it is the best you can see they did most of the facial features on Roger except for the eyes it's kind of like blackened out and I'm not sure why they did that maybe it's just to show like the shading or the shadows uh, the lighting involved when they clash with their conquerors Haki where it's kind of like you know streaks and it's just flashing so maybe that's the idea but you can certainly still tell that this is Roger because of that signature moustache and also that cheeky smile from him other fine details like the veins popping up from the forehead it's also there but it is not very obvious on the camera his muscles are also well sculpted from the neck all the way down to the chest to his six or eight packs and you can really see they added a lot of those lines not only on the muscles but also on the rest of his outfit like the shirt, uh, the pants, the waist sash and even the coats and that is, like I mentioned, it is the manga drawing style of showing uh, shadows but in terms of actual colouring, I don't see anywhere on this figure and you can just see for yourself like the creases around, I will not talk too much about it I did notice that the jewelry, I think the gold necklace, because I think they just pasted or you know just glued like beads onto the chest here. There seems to be a bit of a gap over here on the left side, so it could look a little bit funny. And here I would just want to quickly show you guys the way the coat is positioned and also some of the details. Uh, the gold color looks amazing on uh, the epaulettes and some parts of the buttons, uh, the sleeves and this is the other side similarly it is all well done I really like how the coat flies towards the back uh, I think it captures really well the motion and impact of their clash sending short waves and it's a bit dynamic also with the way the sleeves are positioned and overall I think if you look at the creases it is so well done and for a figure this size I believe this is possibly one of the better quality fakers out there. I don't spot any issues with uh, finishing and the painting looks to be quite clean compared to some of the bigger figures. Here we can see Roger's hands, uh, some of the details like the fingers, the bones and veins popping out and of course we have his sword ace. Details wise you can see for yourself. Uh, the blade once again we can see a lot of those lines added to it to show you know the darker parts and I guess the, the wavy uh, curves those are supposed to show the lighter part of the sword finally uh, the base it is just in a singular grey colour and you can just see all the lines pointing and moving towards the epicenter to show you where the clash is coming from and overall I think the details are quite good you know showing you the cracks the ground breaking apart some of the debris flying outwards so I think they've done the job well here it's always welcome to have a more dynamic base at the bottom is nothing much here we have white beard and his face is clearer for us to see compared to Roger and similarly his eyes the area over there it is blackened and darkened but you can also see the details of the face better like the veins on the forehead some of the creases and also that white moustache it seems a bit longer than usual I think I don't think it's usually uh, this white and at the top you can see his beautiful uh, luscious hair flowing towards the back uh, blonde obviously and the details are actually really good I think uh, you can actually see the individual strands how, how they just uh, curls towards the back this is I would say a lot better than some of the bigger figures because uh, some of the bigger ones they get really lazy it's usually a big piece and they just divide themselves towards the bottom but here if you look at it you can clearly tell it is assembled from multiple parts so they really put in effort here for this uh, small figure and I really appreciate it the muscles of white beard is certainly there and they are well sculpted from the neck to the chest to the abs and a lot of details are also on the shirts the creases and folds as well as those lines that I mentioned before you can see for yourself the shirts can look a bit oily and shiny due to the PVC material they used so it may seem a bit cheap but from what I can tell it's just a shirt and uh, I don't think it is really a big issue I'll just leave it up to you guys to see the rest of the details yourself of the shirt and the pants nothing else I could really mention other than what you can see in front of you 
uh, the sash over here and you can see his arms, the hands, the details are all quite good for a tiny figure like this. Here we also have his weapon. I always forget the name of it, but you can see the colouring here. It is honestly very decent. It is well done. And the more impressive part is obviously the top part of the blade. You can even see the gold colour. There's a darker one, there's a lighter one. And the details in those parts of the blade looks amazing. And at the top, we have the silver colour for the blade as well as the black colour for the darker parts. Whitebeard's coat is also amazing. Here we have his Jolly Roger. Uh, we have the sleeves flying towards the back. Here is painted in red in colour. And maybe the creases and folds are not as crazy as the one on Roger, but it is still impressive enough. And here we have the parts where it's painted golden in colour. The epaulets. And here the buttons are silver. They have captured the underside texturing of Whitebeard's coat, so kudos to them, it is really well done. The red colour looks fantastic as well. Lastly, the base, and once again you can see the lines just pointing towards the epicenter. And because Whitebeard it is kind of attacking from mid-air, uh, the ground just gradually breaks up and you know fly up and form this kind of support for Whitebeard. You can just see for yourself the ground breaking apart, uh, the lines they've added onto it. Uh, the connection here is what I'm talking about here and over here. You can see it's very loose and I gotta hold it together just so the figure will not topple. I hope that this is not the same issue for a lot of you guys out there. The height of this figure is from the bottom to the top. For Roger, he is around 10.5 cm, slightly more than 4 inches and for Whitebeard, he is around 19 and a half cm, around 7 and 3 quarter inches. Here I have taken out my P.O.P. Young Whitebeard and King of Artists Roger figures so you guys can have a sensing of how big these manhood figures are. And obviously they are not huge. Off the top of my head, I don't think they will scale well with any uh, figures or series out there. At least not offhand now. And they just look good together as a couple, you know, as a set, just to recreate that scene. This is actually a possible display option. Just have the bigger Roger and bigger Whitebeard uh, together like this and you have your, you know, two legendary pirates display. Alright guys, that's pretty much all I want to say for this figures. The quality, the detailing definitely impressed me. Uh, it went way above my expectations, especially for their sizes. But because of their size, people may think that it is not really worth it to get them, especially when you're paying a typical price figure cost but you're getting smaller figures. I think Whitebeard is fine. Whitebeard is still around the size of your some of your S cultures, figure Colosseum figures, but Roger is significantly tinier. End of the day, it is really up to you. I myself, I think that it is a little bit above what I am willing to pay for. If it's a bit cheaper, then honestly, I wouldn't mind. Having said that, this is an epic scene, an epic clash between Roger and Whitebeard. Uh, right out from the manga and the anime, I'm not sure if we will be getting more figures of them in this pose in the future. We had a set from the Ichiban Kuji, but that is not as accurate as this one over here. This might actually be a very unique set of figures to get. Alright, as usual, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share them with your friends. If you're new here and you enjoy what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notifications button so you don't miss out on new videos like this. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.